how to create a Pinterest business account, setup and optimization. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you how you can get started with building your own Pinterest business account. So let's get into it. Now, the first step that you need to do to get started is actually have a email address. That's really all you need. A lot of people think that setting up a business account might be difficult or you might have additional requirements, but there is no such thing as additional requirements to build your business account. Now, before we get started into building our new business account, some people ask, what's the purpose of having a business account? Well, a business account will give you this kind of dashboard. In your business hub, you can actually see your public profile as a business. Then you will also have certain things such as performance data that you don't receive on regular Pinterest. You will have your impressions, outbound clicks, and your pin results as well. Then you will have different resources that can help you in building your brand on Pinterest, as well as analytics that you can run. You have overviews, audience insights, and trends that you can follow as well as your business manager and business hub that can further help you in setting up your business. So this is my pre-existing account, but we're going to build a new one. Now I'm just going to log out of this account over here and let's get started with building a Pinterest business account. Now, the first thing you have to do is head on over to pinterest.com. Once you're on pinterest.com, you're going to click on business on the top right. This will open up business.pinterest and this is specifically for people to build their Pinterest business accounts. Now, the reason for this is because you're going to get a lot of inspiration, a lot of analytics to further improve your content. Now, to get started, simply click on sign up on the top right. And once you do that, you're going to enter your email address and a suitable password or your business account over here and then you're just going to add your date of birth over here like this we're just going to change the year so i'm just going to add that like so and then i'm going to click on create account so if this email address is taken i'm going to use my other email address i'll just have to continue on to my account over here and we're just going to proceed into our pinterest account like this so once you go into creating your business account, you will see over here that you can unlock pro tools like analytics and ad with your business account. This is free and you have to just retype your email address and click on continue. Now, once you have done that, you can actually see your business account profile. So over here, you can enter your business name or your brand name. Let's say it's Durden, and then we're going to add our profile picture, which is usually going to be a representative icon that you have. So we have this over here and I'm going to add the entire section like this and click on open and then you want to add your website. Now adding your website is one of the most important steps out there. So you want to click on yes over here and if you're running a Shopify store, if you're running a Wix website, even if it's something that is still in the works, make sure to add it. Like if it's published, then make sure to add it because this can help you in boosting the click through rates of your reels of your pins and of your boards because people feel like hey you're actually someone that knows what they're talking about so you want to make sure to link your website over here then click on next after that you have to describe your business let's say we are related to beauty and then in beauty we want to sell more products generate leads to our businesses drive traffic to our sites so that is what we're going to focus on and then we're going to click on next then you're going to describe your business so we are a consumer goods product and service and then or you can also list it as a online retail or marketplace and then click on next now after that you're going to add which platforms you use to sell your product so we're using shopify i'm going to click on shopify over here and then i'm going to click on next and then after that if you are interested in running ads on pinterest so i am interested in advertising and then now you can get started. So there are three basic ways you can get started claiming your website to get analytics from your website, sharing your ideas or showcasing your brand. So we're going to link our website and we're going to click on claim our website. And now you have three options to just add your website, which is first off, you can add this HTML tag to the head section of your website. You can add this to your root directory or you can add the verification record to your domain host. So the easiest way is to just copy the HTML tag, go into your store and you can just click on customize code and just open up the header code and add it over there. Now, after that, this is going to be your basic dashboard. 
So this is our simple dashboard and we want to get started with customizing this. So the first thing we're going to do is click on edit profile. Now over here, you're going to add your story section, which is your about section. So we're, you're going to add to the origin of your business. So, hey, add Durden, we prioritize whatever is the basic info about your business. You're going to add that over here. I've just added a little section where I'm just talking about the brand and then you have your pronouns obviously for businesses we're not going to add those then you have your address lines which we're also not going to add because this is a business if you have a physical store location you could possibly add that but then after that you have some basic info like your home feed your profile visibility now currently obviously for a business profile you want to make sure these are public profiles so our account is publicly available and after that you want to add a background header over here so you're going to add a cover image that is representative of your business as well so we're going to maybe add an image from over here so we're going to take this image over here and we're just going to add this as our cover and click on done now, after you do this, you can get started with creating pins and boards. Now, it's very essential that whenever you create a pin or board, so it's very essential that whenever you are building your pins and boards, you follow a certain aesthetic. So we're going to go back into our home feed on Pinterest, and then you can click on share ideas. Now, you can get started with building your story using images, product, or links. And we're just going to open up our business hub in our business hub you guys can see this is going to be your performance analytics so you're going to click on create pin currently pinterest is getting bugged a little so i'll just re-log into pinterest now you guys can see over here this is our ad account you will also be able to click on add ad account and you will be able to link your ad accounts over here so you can create marketing campaigns over here as well now we're going to click on create and you have two types of options. You have paid pins that you can create for ads as well as basic organic pins. Now for a pin, you want to get started with adding your image first. So let's say that we want to add this image over here. We're going to click on image and we can add our title. Let's say this might be the most seamless blendable foundation whatever it might be now one thing to keep in mind is that you don't want these niche titles you want to add keywords in your titles so for keywords you can easily search for google trends to find the latest keywords in your particular niche but let's say i have a few keywords in mind that come within this niche which might be rare beauty foundation or color range color theory like this now you are supposed to add these keywords within your title the reason for this is because this helps in the optimization of your pinterest item so if your pinterest pin has a lot of keywords it's very likely that it will appear in the top search results and when something is in the top search results more people see it and the more people see it the more clicks you can get on your website now over here you can add a description about your product and then you're going to add the buy purchasing link so just go into your product and just copy the product page from here and you can paste it into your pinterest store and then after that you can choose your board and you can create multiple different boards for campaigns so one board could be related to your summer collection winter collection or however you are categorizing your items and then you can add keywords in your tags as well so in this way you can get started with pinterest business i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel